Hello YouTube, Mr. Jaehoon here. Today we're gonna go for an adventure, yes. I have been craving Kurdish food for a long time and also I'm very curious about Kurdish cuisine so I was in search of finding a good restaurants around me but unfortunately I couldn't find any. Uh, finally I found the only Kurdish restaurant in Midwest in Chicago. I'm going to check out Gundi's Kurdish kitchen, yes, the only Kurdish and I think it's the first Kurdish restaurant in Chicago but I think it's the only Kurdish restaurant in the Midwest. So without further ado let's go ahead and check it out. Calculating the route. Check this Gundi's Kurdish kitchen. I'll see you guys in Chicago. One hour later. All right, ladies and gents, after a couple hours of hustle on the snowstorm, we are here at the Gundis. Yes. The Gundis Kurdish Kitchen is Chicago's first and only Kurdish restaurant serving eclectic and authentic foods of Middle East and Mediterranean. Executive chef Juan Gonzalez and his son-in-law, sous chef Mehmet Yavuz, cook up a one-of-a-kind breakfast experience and an exceptionally sophisticated Mediterranean dinner. Here you can sip black tea, Kurdish coffee or wine and enjoy a robust flavors of authentic and modern Kurdish menu. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about. We are at the Gundi's Kurdish Gundi. restaurant in Chicago. What does Gundi mean? I know Gund what Gundi means. What is it? Can you say? Gundi means villager. Yes. Somebody who lives in village, right? That's right. Villager. Okay. Yes. So how long have you guys been here in Chicago? Uh, well, me personally, I've been here about 10 years, but this place has been here about five years now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, this is my first time going to uh, be trying Kurdish food. So what is the... What does it the taste like? What does the flavors look like? Is it Middle Eastern or kind of close to Turkish or Armenian cuisine? So in general, you could say it's kind of combination of Middle Eastern and Mediterranean. Okay. Oh. And also too, you could say uh, it's kind of Middle Eastern, but it has its own twist into it. Okay. That can be by spices, ingredients, cooking style. Okay. In general, most of the Middle Eastern countries, they make certain food like similar to each other, mm -hmm. but they all have their own twist, twist into it since uh, there is no Kurdistan or a Kurdish country. So basically, we, we have a food, Kurdistan but it's not known as much. So Mesopotamia. Okay. Well, one of your dish over here is called Mesopotamia, okay, basically. I'll take it yeah, home. maybe you can Thank check you that out. Thank you for letting me record this video. Thank yeah, you no, so much, no, it's all good. From Martin. So. Martin, yeah. So right now we got the lentil soup and the gundi salad before the other stuff coming in. I'm gonna dig into this, see what's all about. Okay, let's start the lentil soup, bismillah. Mostly when you eat in a Middle Eastern restaurant, the lentil soup are very lemony, very acidy. It's very well balanced. I like it. The touch of 
fried mint is also a good touch in it, a good twist. It's really good. I'm gonna go dig into this beautiful salad, Gundi salad. Again, the acid balance is perfect. And also you get the sumac, all the, the seasoning is perfect. The vinaigrette is very well balanced. Good appetizer, good salad. Waiting for the main course. Good. Next course, please. Okay, ladies and gents, the main course has arrived. So this one is, I'm gonna taste this and show you. This is the beef stew, Kurdish beef stew. It's, oh, it's, it's not a stew actually, it's made with eggplants. The eggplants have some smoky flavor in it. Wow. Let me check the meat, the beef. This is for you guys. Definitely out of this world. So tender, the beef is so tender. The eggplant is so delicious and also it has a, some smoky flavor in it. So this one was the stew. Let's check the other one. What? Mm. Let it try this man. I cannot explain this. Get some of this beef again. Some beef, some eggplant. Look at this. Mm. So good. Oh, this dish. This dish is Mardin eggplant stew. Right? Mardin eggplant stew, yes. Mm. Now, we try the sash towel. Switch the plate. Okay, now it's the sash, sash towel, I guess. Chicken sash towel. Cheers. Mm. So good. You can get all the flavors in one thing. It's not that it's it looks very like a very heavy dish, but it's very light. The chicken is tender. You can get the, you can taste all the spices. The spices are not overpower, overpowering the food. Mm. So good. I'm gonna try now. I'm gonna try this other dish. Now the Mesopotamia, I think it is, uh, it looks like a makluba, 
Palestinian is, but it's not, so it's called Moza Mesopotamia. Hmm. It's definitely lamb meat with salted egg salted eggplants and rice. You can definitely feel the lamb. Mm. So good. I think by far my favorite was the Mardin eggplant. This is also good. The sashta was good. I'll definitely come f again for the food. Mm. Mm, can't wait. Can't stop eating, man. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, Gundi's Kurdish restaurant in Chicago. Mr. Jehun came, tested, tasted, and approved. Overall, it's a way above average. It's really good. I mean, it's worth driving in that snowstorm. So, this is it for today. I'll keep eating. So, if you if you guys find yourself in Chicago, go over and check Gundis, Gundis Kitchen, Kurdish Kitchen, beautiful dishes, awesome ambience, in a good neighborhood in Chicago. And finally, the dessert. I have some Kurdish cookies, Kurdish tea, Sugar in, stir it. Get some Kurdish cookies. Mmm, soft. Mmm, coconut. And a sip of tea. Chai is heaven. Tea. Gonna get another cookie. The cookies are so freaking fresh. So that's it for this week from Gundi's Kurdish Kitchen. Man, I can't stop eating this cookies. I'm still tasting it. This is it for this week. See you next week. Until then, God bless. Take care. So as we were planning to leave, they brought a complimentary kazandi with dessert. As you can see, I kept resisting not try it. Mm. The term of kazandi is, I think, Turkish. It means the bottom burnt. So the bottom is caramel caramelized like this, as you can see. Yeah, so good. Thanks for this kitchen.